is up HQ fam we are now back for another video so today I'm going to be providing you a new live streaming application review so this app is suggested to one of our members on our HQ fam Facebook page so big shout out of course to Peter Michael Samson who provided this um, application so that I can check it out so he stated that he saw this originally from one of his clan mates and he wanted to uh, let me know about it and of course if he or he is asking if I can do a review of it for everyone as well we will go ahead and review it but first let me show it to you so as you can see this is uh, the turnip live stream app is currently on early access uh, for this as you can see this was updated November 8th or December 8th they added overlay and then they stated that they will be supporting animated overlays as well so we will go ahead and proceed with the app so i'll discuss to you more information about it so what is the difference of this app to different app as you know i've created tutorials for streamlabs mobile i think the difference of streamlabs mobile for this uh, turnip live stream app is that streamlabs mobile is much more on the customization side I would say because you'll be able to uh, create and design your overlays personally so you'll be able to use different um, layers of pictures image and stuff and then you can uh, use your Streamlabs alerts and apply it on your live stream so on and so forth uh, for this it's simple it's like omelet arcade just to be specific it's like omelet arcade but a cleaner version of of omelet arcade and since it's on early access it's so clean there's no watermark and stuff so yeah so let's get started so um good thing about this guys is that just like omelet arcade turnip live stream app do support internal audio what that means is that you don't need peripheral devices to stream with in-game sounds okay so you can stream even though you're on earphones and good thing about this is that they do have a FAQ on the main page where like audio related issues so it shows there you'll read it let me just go ahead and let's see if we can uh, no we cannot put it on sideways but I'll go ahead and um, provide you uh, details here so facing uh, facing issues with internal audio not audible in your stream so generally internal audio of course only works for android 10 so if you're not using android 10 then don't expect it to work on your phone so it only supports android 10 and above because android 9 doesn't support internal audio due to copyright claim or copyright restriction and stuff so but if you're on android 10 then internal audio should work but you need to remember one thing make sure that before you go ahead and start your live stream on the app you need to make sure first that you turn off your in-game mic or other um, apps that use your communication or your microphone because as you know for Android or smartphone you're only allowed to use microphone or camera one app at a time so if, for example you're already using microphone for example let's say you're talking to someone on messenger and then you open up a different um, app that requires you to use a microphone definitely it will cause an error it will show that someone's already using a microphone quit that app first so on and so forth so generally that's how it works so here what they stated is that for you to be able to use the in-game mic or for you to be able to use discord on the same phone make sure that you turn off other communication app first you need to make sure that you're already started streaming so your streaming should start already before you go ahead and try to use a different app so for example once your streaming is already starting that's the time that you can open up the in-game mic or that's the time that you can connect to discord all right so that's mainly for the audio related issues which is a good thing that they put it on the front page so we'll go on the settings on the top right so under settings of course you'll be able to set up there the accounts that you wanted to use 
So right now, since it's on, on early access, they currently support YouTube and Facebook at the moment. So if I add my account, let's see, I'll add my account. So it will automatically, of course, um, give you details of your account. So it will, once you look your account, then it will show up uh, what specific accounts you wanted to use. So I have my YouTube and Facebook already set up. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and go back. So for us to start stream, all we just need to do is to set up stream. Uh, there's, as you can see, there's four buttons on the top. So that's the steps that you need to um, follow. So you, of course, you can choose your game, Garena, Fortnite, Brawl Stars, Among Us, Call of Duty, or if you have any other games that's st installed on your phone, you can do that. You can do and cho choose that. And then, of course, how are you feeling? So you. This specific tagging will um, will be applied on the next part of the setup. So let's say surprise, and then it shows who are you playing with? Are you playing solo or squad? So you can like press on playing solo, and then the language that you will be speaking in. So it's either you can um, use English, Hindi, English, Tamil, Telugu, and so on and so forth. So I think that's currently the nine language that they support. So it doesn't have the Tagalog yet, so it would be better if there is. So we can like, I'll be speaking Taglish, Tagalog in English. <laughs> so yeah. So next step, that's where um the specific uh thing will show up. So as you can see, it already give you a stream title like English Call of Duty surprise stream. So if you for example choose like classy, it will be like classy stream, so on and so forth. And then it will show you playing solo, which if you choose squad, then it will show playing squad. And then this one, the stream description, um, it's like a default for them. This is the default thing um, that the app will provide. So, of course, you can personalize it based on what you prefer. So, once we go to the next one, um, that's the time that you'll be given an option on what specific quality you wanted to stream. So you can either use 480, 720, 1080p. So you don't need to really uh, check manually or to set up manually your stream information. Because before uh, on Streamlabs Mobile, you are required to set up your bitrate and stuff. But here, uh, based on the quality that you're choosing, it will give you like details on what is specifically needs. So if you wanted to stream on 1080p, you need at least 4 Mbps and above connection speed so that it will be able to render your stream properly without any issue. So it, sh it shows 480p given that you are, I think the developers are expecting that most of the mobile uh, users will be trying to use their app will be streaming using their data. So like in here in the Philippines, data is kind of costly. So yeah, for ADP, I think it's fine. But if you really wanted, you know, to have many viewers and they would be able to appreciate your stream, is that you you need to increase your quality. So that's it. That's the main point. You need to in, um, increase your quality, and then of course, uh, create a unique content that the viewers will be will be um, able to like remember oh i will need to watch this this guy's stream because he's good on casting he's good on playing the game like that so on and so forth it really depends on you so yep so let's choose 1080p and the good thing about this app guys is that you'll be able to multi-stream what this multi-stream means is that you'll be able to stream on your youtube and facebook page at the same time but there's a disclaimer, of course, is that your connection should be able to handle both platforms. So you need to have at least like 25 Mbps and so on. So you need to have a stable connection because you need to supply um, internet or a stable internet connection for both platforms because they would be a different platform. So it will be processed on a different servers. So that's one thing that you need to make sure. So of course, you can do a test stream. You can put private stream to on so that you're the only one who will be able to see your stream. That way, you'll be able to test before you go ahead and um, go live. And 
uh, work with the viewers. So, yep, so we'll go ahead and go next, for example. So I'll just go ahead and let it, then just allow it. So there you go. So we are already here. As you can see, is this a show a camera overlay? So I'm using my earphones as well. So I'm using my mic. So I'm still using my sound card, but you'll be able to use this app just directly using the earphones. So let me just go ahead and turn up the camera. So to be honest, opening my camera would be a disaster given that my phone is OnePlus 60, as you know, its camera is on the middle top part of my screen. So if I'm playing, definitely my thumb will be covered or my thumb will cover it. So yeah, just prefer to turn it off. And then you have an option there on the top left or bottom left to be specific. It does support a custom overlay, but generally it will only like support a bar. You see, it does give you a um, template that you can use if you prefer or you can do a custom overlay so i think it shows that you are allowed like max of 120 pixel height allowed i think there's a bug with the app if i upload my custom overlay it do works it's just that it doesn't like exactly show on full screen so i think i needed to adjust the image um, image dimension so that it will uh, show up based on what I prefer but yep it does give you a bottom overlay that you can choose from so if we do start streaming so let me just go ahead and start it now so since it's still on private so that's fine all right so it will go ahead and it will start and then it will try to run the game once it's successfully uh, called it call out the game you do have an option to start the stream or not so it doesn't start it immediately so again just to give you a heads up it will not be through rtmp so generally once you um start your live stream here then it will be applied on your game but let me just go ahead and i uh, remove the sound i'm using usb debugging so there's no really um there's no um importance of opening up the sounds we're just here to let it for you to uh, see it and then so this is a global guys so just to set your expectations is this global let's go ahead and open that up if you're playing global you can add me all right so once we start streaming so i'll go ahead and show it to you so since it's in private so no one will see it so yeah all right let me just go ahead and show it to you guys so uh while waiting for it to load so we need to wait for it to load so what does it support so the streaming pop-up icon support chat window so if you click that just like omelet arcade you'll be able to see um the chats of your viewers so if you're multi on if you're um streaming on facebook and youtube then you'll be able to uh, differentiate which platform a specific viewer comment also it shows like a picture and then a logo of facebook or youtube either or I think there's a bug with the 1080p to be honest guys so based on my experience when i'm streaming on 1080p it cuts out like around 20 minutes i'm not sure if it's something uh, an issue on my connection due to the reason that um last thursday i have an issue with my connection where our internet connection line uh, breaks out so i was not able to stream last friday due to that and then it it was restored Saturday morning. Yeah. So I'm not sure if it's something on my connection or it's on the app. But I would suggest that you stream on 720p. So earlier when I stream on 720p on Facebook, I was able to stream one hour straight without any issue. I just need to stop my streaming because my phone um, is around 10%, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. So you have your chat. So as you can see. Uh, this is something that automatically posts on my Facebook. So, of course, if, for example, you're multi-streaming and then um, someone commented on your YouTube live, then it will show their picture and then the YouTube, um, the YouTube logo. So, you will sh see here as well. 
if you have new subscribers and of course uh, if you have donations donations all right and then, um, also i think it's not on private because my non on abe shared my stream <laughs> wait, wait wait let me just go ahead and check my let me just go ahead and check my stream so i think it's not on private yeah i'm doing tutorial guys <laughs> sorry 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 so i'm doing tutorial so for everyone wait, wait, let me just go ahead and check my... see yeah I, i'm uh, i'm live <laughs> What's up? What's up? A shout, a shout out, of course, to Nonon Abe and Azzy Aaron who visited my stream. So, guys, this is only, of course, for the tutorial. So, you'll be on a tutorial. So, I see, guys. So, you will see there their logo and then their picture and then the logo. How do donations work? So, donations work only on YouTube there. So, that's how it works. So, I'm not sure why it was published on my page. But, yeah, you'll be on my tutorial, guys. Say hi. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. And then of course it does support uh shield mode as well guys so if you click this one oh uh, yeah there it goes there's peter michael samson shout out shout out to you brother so he's the one who suggested uh for me to review this app so there you go shout out shout out to you my brother i mean it is it connected to fb donations i'm not sure sir as aaron i haven't set up my donations yet so yeah um it does support um shield mode as well just like um omelet arcade so i think i'll go ahead and grab a copy of this stream <laughs> on my facebook page and show it to you guys the video on my stream so that you'll see how the uh, shield mode work as well generally is how the um this app works so it's clean i think it's better compared to um compared to omelet arcade given that if you stream on omelet arcade with 1080p stream then it will give you a big uh, watermark so yeah yep yes yeah. you can also on and off the camera if you want but i didn't really want it to use my camera as you can see because my thumb will definitely cover it once i play the game so yep so i'm not really a fan of the camera given that my phone is one plus 60 it's on the top on the middle top of my screen so my thumb will definitely cover it there you go so on the bottom left ios or android that's android bro rain de leon so that is for android yes there you go yes the shield mode works better so again guys you'll be <laughs> you will be on my tutorial video that i'll be publishing on my youtube channel ganda din po quality yes sir so that's one good thing about this so we are live on our youtube and facebook page let me just go ahead and access my youtube just so i only open the camera not playing lol yeah 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 you can do that De definitely if you're um just playing or if you're on the intermission page why am i in why am i englishing name <laughs> because <laughs> sir harry's english in too <laughs> so yeah there you go so shout out shout out again to, uh, to peter michael samson for suggesting this app so if you want to try it out i'll be uh, providing a link in the description down below so go ahead and try it out it would be better if we if many of us test it so that we can provide feedbacks to the developers so that they can improve the app more given that this and early access in this kind of features definitely it's it's a great app if you would ask me and that is it guys for the app review and actual test stream that you can use as a guide so if ever you're interested in trying the app don't hesitate to go ahead and download uh, using the link in the description below or you can search it on play store so don't forget of course to comment or to give feedback to the developers if in any case you experience any bags or glitches so that they can fix it also if you like the stream don't forget to leave a like subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video so if you wanted to see the full stream i'll be leaving the link as well of the stream down below but that is it for today harry of harris hq now signing out peace